And so our last game of the evening is Hidden Lands. And Hidden Lands is a free-to-play game that is available on Steam. And it is available to be played on PC. Um, this one was not necessarily brought to my attention by the developer. I was kind of going through again looking for free-to-play games again for free-to-play Friday and I stumbled across this little gem and I absolutely loved it. Um, this is a Spot the Difference game. So if you kind of remember those Spot the Differences puzzles from like um, Highlights magazines or even the back of cereal boxes, that is what this game is based on. And again, this is free to play. And it's absolutely gorgeous. So, we're going to go ahead. We're going to play some of the quests. As you can see, I've played a couple of levels here. Um, so, ideally, is you saw the level which gives you keys. And then the keys allow for you to open up other levels. So. I can even go to a totally different area if I want to. There's three different areas. Um, I started over kind of in like the Egypt type area. So we will, we're going to try a different area. Let's do the stone lamps. And again, in this you are looking for the differences like this tree. This, and then you can turn it. That is missing. So that one only had three. And each time you play a um, level, there are more to find. Stone lamps. Decorative stone lanterns have been long to the shrine for a long time, but they now become part of the landscape. And so, um, it wouldn't let me know that one, huh? So we have the gate lamp, or the sacred bonsai. I'm gonna go with the sacred bonsai here. And each time you play, there are more added to it. Like this one's saying a prelude, but I believe there are extras to it. So the little bonsai tree. That thing there. I was gonna say the fox, but it is not the fox. Well, that's missing. zoom in to see as well. Oh, this tree. Yeah, this one's really fun and relaxing, especially if you like, um, spot the difference type games. Garden Dragon. If you're really into spot the difference type games, like now this one has four different ones. So we have here, we have this tree. We also have this tree is missing. tree apparently is missing and it looks like a rabbit yeah these are really um, definitely good um, nice relaxing games especially um, especially because we're going into the fall I tend to like to find games like this to play to kind of like pass the time Normally, I do a lot of the, like, pixel, 
art coloring type books that they have because a lot of those are free as well and so I tend to do a lot of those during the um, fall like when the fall comes around I do a lot of arts and crafts and stuff also missing this one has seven we're missing this tree this that we have two more that we're missing Seven on this one as well. Flower, flower. This little tree. This tree. ahead. We are also missing this and that. I was going to say, wasn't it two? That's missing. That is missing. Oh, 
of the tail. <laughs> I caught it at the last moment. I was like, hey. Alrighty. I'm gonna play one more level. And then that is going to take us out of this stream for this evening. So let's play one more level. We can do Shrine Bell or the Kabuki Theater sign. Let's do the Kabuki Theater sign. And then this has two levels, so. Right off the bat, we are missing a llama. Oh, this is timed. one here but I think this is like the medieval so I'm gonna do I'm just going to do one of these just to show we're missing that that and this okay we'll do another one because I wanted to show off the other one because I, I played the Egyptian one that was kabuki for us <laughs> and then hit continue we have an anvil, and hey, we'll do the anvil. I forgot what this does. Oh, it's what we need. Let's do the anvil real quick, and then we will call straight. 
I think I maybe do hay instead. There's that, there's that, there's this. We have that, and that. This has quite a few um, This has quite a few levels on here. So um and again that is him this again is a free-to-play game so you can actually pick this up on Steam for PC 
it is free to play of course as always the link for the game will be in the description of the video be it on YouTube or my website um, apparently it is also on itch as well from what Draconic Dude has said so you can even pick it up on itch.io but all of the links to picking up this game will be in the description of the video uh, for YouTube and my website. Definitely. Um, like I said, I was going through looking for games to play for free to play um, Fridays. And this came across, you know, in my searches. And I was like, I'm going to give it a try. I have always been, uh, this is the full game. This is actually a full game. This Hidden Lands, it's a full game. Um, and I came, you know, came across it and I was like, this isn't that, you know, this is a pretty decent and good looking game. And so I ended up trying it out and I absolutely, again, have fallen in love with this game. I play a couple of levels per day. And it, it's a really good game to kind of help you relax and unwind. It's definitely a game that's made for, like, the fall time season. Um, especially, um, you know, as the, as the weather begins to change, you're going to get more people probably playing games. Um, and so being able to find these um, beautiful free-to-play games for people or to play to show off so that others can be aware of them it, it's really a joy this is definitely one of those ones that after a long day of work or if you just simply need time to de-stress and relax this is one of those games that's good for that because i've always been a fan of spot the difference games um i've always even as a child i enjoy doing the spot the difference in the highlight books um so again this is one of those games for free to play I recommend now if it is available on itch.io um, as free to play because I didn't know that I think when I looked it up it didn't show me um, but from what um, Draconic has said it is available on itch or maybe it is and I just didn't see yeah because it didn't show it on my end um, you know, and you do want to pay something for the game or support the developer for the game, then, you know, go ahead and go through Itch because with Itch you are able to pay a little something for the game. Um, but for those of you that can't, but you want to, you know, play the game and show it off, um, go ahead and pick it up on Steam as a free-to-play, you know, and be sure to, um, when you do play it, make sure that you do go back and leave a review. Um, as I always tell you, reviews do help out the game a lot, as well as wishlisting. You know, at any time, if any of the games you ever see me play is something you're interested in, but you cannot buy or, or um, you have no means of being able to get it at the moment, definitely, without a doubt, go ahead and wish list um, the game because again wish list help the game end up in people's recommendation if you wish list buy or download the game and play it and you leave a review you know again please leave reviews that also helps because that can help it end up in the new and trend worthy and even more purchases reviews or wish list can actually end up having the game end up on the front page of steam um so, as I like to say, if anytime you see a game you like but cannot purchase, when in doubt, wishlist it out.